What's up everyone? I am here today at the Premier Training Ground um, to get my DNA results. As you all know, I sent in my DNA test kit and um, got my results back. So I'm down here with one of the consultants, um, Charlene. She's gonna take me through my report and I just wanna let all my fans know and, and kinda just introduce this to all my fans. So um, I'm just here to, to get a good reading on my DNA. We are gonna do a bit of a shorter version today. Now what's come up already is that, what's come up is that you're a, what we call a 50-50 split or a mixed uh, results panel on the genes. And what we mean by that is that you're 50% endurance, 50% power. Uh, again, we've spoken before and you actually are kind of doing this sort of training anyways. And I feel like I break down my muscle fibers a lot more by doing 15, 20 reps. Yeah. Um, so that's not necessarily pre-contest. I mean, yeah. I do that, what you call the off-season training yes. as well. Yeah. Um, so I think I've been doing that all these years, which has probably benefited me and probably put me in a level where I'm at today. It's showing that you know, I benefit from the way I've been training anyway, which is high reps, and I'm really, really happy about that. So this, again, is a reason why it's good to know your DNA because you know, it gives you a heads up on how you should train or the yes. way you should you know, channel your training. But I think with when it comes to Joe Public, they'll be able to get maybe get to that point sooner than an elite athlete has because the elite athlete wouldn't have had the genetics tests and they've just done experiment after experiment right. after experiment trying to find the best training for them. I mean, and then it reinforces what I've been doing and what I'm going to do obviously it's, it's continuing that way but also maybe do some slight changes here and there but yeah. keep that format. And you have um, a gene allele that's called an RR. Okay. Now, What's nice about the RR variant or RR allele is that this is the one that only comes up in fast twitch muscle fibers. Okay, so that would and be I, like the, the sprinter genes? Yeah, sense? sprinter genes, that's a nice way of putting it, okay. yeah. So this just helps that sliding bit, how we slide our muscle fibers. This is in fast twitch muscles, a bit of an advantage really. And we see this on the panels coming up with elite strength, power and speed athletes. But for your fans out there mm -hmm. on the gene panels, yeah. this does come up in 20% of the population, which is of the people tested, which yeah. is actually a big number. 20% yeah. sounds low, but it, it can be seen in a lot of, of people. Okay. Um, so there is potential for a lot of people out there. I think it goes to show it without the work ethic and the willpower and the training and the diet yes. and nutrition, you just will not know what your genetic potential is really. So yeah. like, like you just said, you know, 20% of the population do have that RR gene in the yeah. ACTN3. So, I mean, it, it's kind of, it's commonplace in a sense. And, yeah. and you just have to be able to build on that and, yeah. and, and really, you know, work with your genes, I yeah. think. So that's, that's a good thing to know. So it's not, I don't necessarily have an advantage. You no. know, I just have a nice mix, I believe. Yes, you do. Genes. You've come up with the double I allele variant. Yeah. This is actually the endurance variant. And, and by endurance, we don't mean cardio. Yeah, yeah. We mean a style of training, which means in our instance here, a higher rep, which right. you've already mentioned is what you go to. I, I incorporate the drop sets, the supersets, the high reps into it, which kind of explains, you know, that's, you know, what my, my, my genetic marker would, would want me to do actually yes. based on my DNA. So uh, it's nice to know that I've been doing the right things for all these years yes. and probably is the reason why, you know, uh, you know, in bodybuilding and in what I'm doing in, in the fitness field, I've excelled because you know, I've been doing the right thing all along. So yes. I, I, it, it only goes to show that it's actually good to know your DNA because, you know, when the earlier you know it, the better it is for you to, to kind of tailor your program towards that. I think, you know, you've been lucky in that, you know, you didn't have your DNA results 10, 15, 20 years ago, but you yeah. have really naturally gone towards what has worked for you. Yeah. And I think it's it really nice. It's, it's a coincidence, but <laughs> now, it, you know, I'm quite happy that I've been doing the right thing all along and, yeah. and, 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 and it's, it's, it's good to know it's right there in the, in the report. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, well, let's move on a little bit from your results. We'll talk a little bit about your rep range choices yeah. based on your gene panel. Um, now we know in bodybuilding traditionally, and maybe you can tell me a little bit more about this because this is your area of expertise, is that um, eight to 12 reps is usually our, you know, is standard. what bodybuilders standard, that's kind of where they go to. Yeah. Um, but actually, you know, you've been, you have been doing higher rep ranges. Right. 
Uh, this has to do with your natural choices and oops, that happened to be what your genes matched. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get a lot of people that, that say, oh, you know, I should be training eight reps, 10 reps, and, and they put specific numbers on, on the reps that they're supposed to do. Yeah. And, and I've always been a firm believer, you need to go on how you feel and how your body feels. It's yeah. worked for me. I mean, it may not necessarily work for someone else, but again, that's where the, the, the DNA results kind of tells you that because you know for for my dna marker yes. that's what works best for me yes and that's probably why i've seen results in in, in such a good way where someone else it might be lower reps that probably works yes. better for them so i would say guys it's best to get your dna checked and and, and and it gives you an idea of what you should be doing i mean it doesn't necessarily mean you have to follow that because some people are used to certain doing certain this training a certain way yeah but it would help to just get a general consensus on how you should be training. Let's move to our next gene, COL1A1. Now this one has to do with collagen, and I'm sure a lot of people out there that follow you and talk to you know a little bit about collagen. It's one of our building block tissues, uh, for tissues, and um, you actually have the most common form of, of this gene, uh, the GG allele. And what this means is you really, it's, it's one of our injury risk genes. Mm -hmm and you really have only a mild risk of tendon or ligament injury, okay. which is a good place to be. Okay. That doesn't mean you go all haywire in the gym and train really hard all the time, and I know you're not gonna do that anyways, but for those out there, if they had a similar result, they still need to be aware of yeah. injury prevention, periodizing their programs properly, ebbing and flowing through high intensity, low intensity, rest days, etc. Yeah. You know all this. For the collagen, you know, type that I have kind of kind of works well with my form of training because I don't train like a power lifter. I don't yes. go for one rep max. That's I don't right. go for three rep max. You know, I train more high reps for, for for my DNA, and that would probably put me anywhere at a low risk of, of getting injuries yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. it kind of all kind of works ties in together if if you look at it. Um, and and I've actually never had any major injuries or anything at all which with my training. Yeah. Which again nice. that reinforces because yeah. one I train smart and two you know I'm more about high endurance you know high rep training so yes. you know I'm never gonna do one rep max or injured myself or pull a tendon yeah. you know and I you know I go I try to push myself to go heavy enough even though I go high reps and stuff yes. so it's, it's 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 a great testament really I think um I think this is exactly on in what I do and and how it's been working with me and I think uh, again to say that my nutrition part a lot of supplementation I yes. do I was just going to talk about that that's probably helped because yeah. you know I'm big on on a lot of you know uh, ma macros uh, micros and I'm big on you know herbs and I'm big on a lot of stuff so yeah. you know I, I'm big on fish oil good fats you know all that kind of stuff they lubricate the joints you know glucosamine is great for tendons and stuff like that so a lot of this stuff glutamine helps you know for recovery yeah. so a lot of these stuff is, is stuff that I've, I already take which aids me and yes. plus I don't train in, in a reckless way yeah, no, yeah. that's great but you built a nice foundation with all those you know all the supplement choices and good whole foods that I know you eat in a healthy food plan and you know you've been enhancing what you already have um, but you know some people may need that guidance on well, what do I have as a foundation so what do I do with that now yeah. um, and you can you can give more information on that in the future yeah, to your definitely. fans as well no, if right. someone came up with similar results to you everybody has different genes obviously or, right. or different variants of the genes but if someone else did come up with this elite athlete status result, but they weren't living the life, let's say, yeah. the lifestyle, the training, mm -hmm. the supplements, the, the good food choices, yeah. they may not express these genes like you have. Okay. So that, that's where, you know, as personal trainers, we talked already about, this is where we're counseling and guiding our people on, Perfect. look, this is what you can do with what you've got. Yeah, yeah. Um, even if someone comes and they're not in the elite athlete status, that they can still get great results and do great things with their body and their lifestyle and their health. Yeah. Um, so I think it is very interesting how it can be, a, it is a mindset really, isn't it? But like, you know, like Charlene just said, you know, you have to have the lifestyle, you have yeah. to have the training, you have to have the supplements. There's so many different tangibles that needs to be in place in order for you to, to, to experience success with your genes. So yeah, you can have good genes, but you know, how, how is your lifestyle? How's the other variants? So you need to have all that in point 
to, to really see benefits from your genes. So I think it's a combination of things. And, you know, I think the more we learn about it and the more we yeah. read into it, I think the better it is actually for everyone out there. And also, you know, you, you know, Charlene works with the NA Fit. You know, her Twitter is positively slim at Twitter. So check that out, you know, and um, you can ask her questions about it and she'd be more than happy to answer your questions. I'll have more information on Charlene um, on my website as well. So it'd be great. And, you know, you guys, you know, if you have any questions about it, it'd be great to, you know, drop those questions down and um, we'll be able to answer it for you. All right. Peace. Okay, Charlene, I just want to say thank you for everything today. I mean, my this pleasure. has given me a lot of confidence to carry on what I'm doing because it's reinforced the fact that I'm doing the right thing. So it just makes me want to even push through and carry on and see Great. how far I can take my physique. So I just want to thank you for having me down here today. And I really appreciate the time and effort. You, you oh, my know, pleasure. You sat yeah. down and had a chance to talk yeah. to me about everything. So again, yeah. thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, cool. Follow me on UlyssesWorld.com for my brand new series of videos. I mean, this is like anything you've seen before. It's got my training. It's got workout tips, nutritional tips, cooking stuff on there. So it's really, really good. Follow me on my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram pages. It's going to be great. I'm going to have all information on there for everyone to keep up with what I'm doing and all the projects that I'm working on. All right? So make sure you follow me on that. Peace. And UlyssesWorld.com.